Welcome to another webinar tutorial video. Today we'll be talking about the drop-in poster PSD template sets, in particular the Storm template located on the drop-in volume 4 series. Once you open the template you'll notice that you have all of the sample images already on the template and this is for two purposes. One that you can actually go ahead and print a sample and the other is, is we're actually going to be using these images to uh, pop in the pictures uh, that you have so that you don't have to cut anything out. Uh, to get started we are going to use a baseball player and his team is going to be red so we'll be transferring all of this to red changing the name and the title. First thing we're going to do is select the right picture over here and you'll notice that it already does have some uh, things done to it. It was turned black and white which we'll show you how to do in a minute. Uh, but what you're going to do is just select this layer and then you will drag in the image you want to use into Photoshop and when we bring it in we'll just move it over to this area go ahead and apply the placement and then we're going to come over to our template uh, layer set over here and hold down the alt key and when you move your mouse between layers you'll notice that this little icon pops up and we're just going to put it between the picture that was already there and the new picture that we brought in once we have it there and that icon pops up, we're just going to left click and it's automatically going to mask this image into the existing area that was there. Now we simply just control T or free transform this picture and bring it up the width the way that we like it in size. So just like that and we'll apply that transfer and now we have them right there. Now if you want to do the black and white effect um, all you'll need to do is uh, first rasterize this image if you're in Photoshop 5 or above, CS5 or above you'll need to rasterize it first and I'm just going to do a simple uh, auto levels first which is control shift L that's gonna give it the auto levels and then I'm just gonna desaturate that to turn in black and white which again is another hotkey is control shift U and that's going to turn in black and white. So that's how you do that effect that was over there. And now we're going to just repeat those steps for the other two images that we have right here. We're just going to select that image so that we have that selected on the right. We're going to drag in our new image. Go ahead and place that. And do the same thing. Holding the Alt key, we will just click on here. And now we can just transform that image and move it to where we want it to be. And we'll do the same thing here, selecting the photo, bringing in the new image, placing that, and alt click, and we just transform this picture and put it where we want it there. So at this point now, uh, we can go and edit these photos if you want to, you know, do the levels on them, which I'm going to go ahead and rasterize both of these layers and we can do the the auto levels on those to make those a little nicer. And now we're going to change the colors. At this point you're going to uh, notice this frame is blue so we're just going to select the picture frame and over here you'll see an outer glow option so we'll just double click on the outer glow, pick the color which you can see is blue right now and we will just turn that to be red and we will do the same thing for the other picture frame right here double clicking on outer glow and then we will see that we have some other color overlays as you scroll down on the on the right you'll see every th every time you're going to change a color in the design not necessarily text but in the design you will have uh, an outer glow um, on on these items or a color overlay. So we're just going to double click on color overlay just like we did the outer glow feature. Select the blue, change it to red. And do the same thing for the other ones. You see we're looking for those other color overlays. You can always use the eyes over here too to turn off things. Okay, we have a color overlay right there. We turn that one to red. And there we go. We've turned those to red. Now all we need to do is, is change our text. And at this point we're just going to use our text 
tool over on the palette. We're going to select his number and he's going to be 10. So we're just going to type 10. We're going to change his name to James. And at this point, you'll notice that your color palette for your characters over here is blue. And now, obviously, it's blue over here, too. So we're just going to click on there, change his color to red. And we'll change his name to Bentley. Now, if you notice, it was a little bit, it's not as, as tall as the other name. So at this point, we're just going to do a free transform, which is, again, Control-T. And we'll just stretch that name to fill up the area. Again, you can change the same thing here. It was Highland Park and baseball. And the year is now 2013. And he is actually the pitcher. And again, we have that blue text here, so we're going to change that over on our palette to red. And there you go. It's a finished product. At this point, you just save it as a JPEG, send it to your lab for printing, and you're all ready to go. Again, this was the Storm template uh, located on Drop-In Volume 4 Collection, uh, available on our website at www.spotlightphotographics.com. If you have any other further questions, you can contact us by clicking on our Contact Us link located on our website. And we look forward to hearing from you and look forward to our next tutorial video. Thank you very much. Have a great day.